So yesterday, Arnold Schwarzenegger, star of the Terminator franchise and two-time governor of California, made a pretty phenomenal statement referring to the protests at the Unite the Right event in Charlottesville. He argued that when dealing with bigotry and hatred, there are not two sides to the story. To put it simply, there was only one identifiable enemy and bad guy at Charlottesville. I'm sorry, but this is just ridiculously wrong. I'm not sure if Schwarzenegger is just virtue signaling or if he honestly doesn't know his history, but the reality is you can oppose Nazism, you can even be out on the streets protesting against it and still be someone who represents a side of hatred and violence, especially considering many of these protesters under the flag of anti-fascism subscribe to a certain ideology that this painfully ignorant and hypocritical society we live in refuses to ever take action against, and that would be communism. Now, before people freak out and say stupid things like, wow, I can't believe you're trying to excuse Nazism by pointing out there were communists on the other side, which is something people have been yelling at me about on Twitter. Pointing out that both sides in a conflict can be prone to extremism and worshiping murderous dictators does not excuse the actions of the one that society judges to be worse. I honestly cannot fathom how people think that I'm condoning Nazism just because I acknowledge that there are more evils in the world than just Hitler. I'll give you a few examples of what actually condoning one side really looks like. Um, teaching it in universities as a celebrated ideology, selling shirts of its leaders in pop culture stores, or how about cheering it on in the mainstream media when its members are going around punching innocent people? Sound familiar to anyone? We all know that Nazis committed atrocities that should be opposed today and that we never want to see the return of. The crimes of Hitler are repeatedly jammed into our heads as kids by the education system as they should be. But why is it that the atrocities of communism are almost completely ignored by our teachers and dismissed as just a blip in history by most? 100 million people perished under communist dictators in the last century several times over the death count racked up by the Nazis in the Second World War. I think it's time for a little history lesson. Try to count up how many of these horrors you ever learnt about in school. Pol Pot's killing fields in Cambodia, 2.5 million dead. The North Korean Gulag system, hundreds of thousands of people are estimated to be imprisoned in horrible conditions right at this very moment. The Great Chinese Famine under Mao Zedong, 36 million people starved to death. The Holodomor famine in Soviet Ukraine, between 7 to 10 million dead after food was withheld from them. Communism is messed up. Every single time someone has tried to implement a Marxist utopia, millions of people suffer and die. I'm not sure if young college students, the media, and half of the West today are ignorant just trying to be edgy or if they genuinely are just awful people, but I'm really hoping it's ignorance because no one in their right mind should be celebrating the actions of communists, let alone identifying as one or defending them. You can rage in the comments as much as you want about how, Lauren, it wasn't real communism, but that won't change the fact that it results in that every single time. They say the mark of insanity is repeating the same thing again and again and again with the same result and yet expecting a different one. I'd have to agree, these communists are nuts. It's about damn time we start being consistent with our opposition to extremism. And I'm not talking about violent opposition, I'm talking about arguing against these bad ideas. If you start assaulting people because they disagree with you, you shouldn't be praised, you should be thrown in a cold, dark jail cell. All I'm saying is that life isn't a movie. There are barely ever clear-cut heroes and villains, but instead varying shades of gray. Boiling down everything in history and politics to a simple dichotomy of good and evil and ignoring nuances only ever leads to more extremism and violence. Look at the people who are getting stabbed and beat up just for being wrongly doxxed or having a fashy haircut. They aren't going to be joining your alleged anti-extremism squads anytime soon. Propping up communists disguised as civil rights activists won't prevent the rise of a murderous ideology, it'll just be one in another form. If there's one thing that I'm certain of, it's that pretending there is only one side of this 
will not stop a single damn problem.